my TV now. Screen mirroring part two. So, we're gonna go to the menu. We're gonna go to the additional menu. All right? Not Bluetooth, so let's cancel that. We're gonna go into, there's a function there for screen mirroring. So I'm gonna click on screen mirroring. Yes, let's continue. So side sync and close. And there's my TV. Now this is an older smart TV from 2011. So you had to purchase the all share cast hub separately. So it will connect. Now as it's connecting, I will need the remote to change the channel. Okay, so now, we have all showcast on. As you can see, the box is blinking. So now, we need to enter it. Tap on all screen share. Let's click on that. Now they're going to try to communicate with each other. And there we go. It's loaded up on the TV screen. This is screen mirror number two. So now you can scroll across all the different pages. Now, of course, you have a touchscreen TV, so I won't be like a state of What is the temperature in Toronto tomorrow? Okay, so it will still communicate. It will still talk to you back from the TV. What is the current price of Tesla stocks? Maybe check out stock prices, Tesla stocks. What year did YouTube start? Are you listening? So there you go. Now you can also turn it sideways. So I'm not going to be able to play any video. Um, I could probably use this. Oh, that's just an app. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we might be able to get some video. So let's click on YouTube. There you go. So you can pretty much stream whatever's on your phone, on your TV, using all Sharecast Hub for a non-smart TV beyond, um, before 2012. After 2012, they do have all Sharecast built into the TV. So you just, it's a matter of going into your menu and clicking on screen mirroring and searching for your TV. Now this will also work with um, Google Cast and Roku Stick or any other such media sharing device. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a good day.